In another video, I showed you how you could use the Pieces tab for a round feature to control the propagation of the round to tangent and non-tangent edges. Guess what? The Chamfer feature has the same Pieces tab and it works the same way. To show you this, I'm even going to use the same model I used in that other video. I'm going to start off by creating an edge chamfer. I can select an edge in the model and then from the mini toolbar here is the chamfer command and when I select that here you can see that the chamfer just goes along that reference because there are no tangent references it's created there and then it stops let's select that chamfer and then I'm going to use the right mouse button to delete it and just like in the other video I'm going to create some tangent edges on the part by using the intent references for creating a round feature. Here I have my mouse hovering over an edge. If I tap the right mouse button, I will get the intent edges. In other words, the edges associated with this particular extrude feature. Then I will left click to select them. And from the mini toolbar, here we have the round tool. I'll leave that value of two for the size of the radius. Now when I select the edge and go to chamfer it, you'll see that it automatically propagates to the tangent references. I can hit the check mark or the middle mouse button to complete that one. And let's say I don't want it going to all the different tangent references. I can select the chamfer feature and then edit definition, which is the same as the keyboard shortcut of control E. Then I can click on the pieces tab Here's piece one, I will left click on it, and then I'll select a portion to remove. And in this particular case, I think this is going to end up being too small, so I'm gonna drag it off of those small rounded surfaces. And there we have it, controlling length, hit the middle mouse button, and in that way, we have the chamfer limited from all the different tangent references. That is good for that one. Now, up here in the model, I have, again, some non-tangent edges. Let's go to create a chamfer on this edge. I will select it, and then let's click on the chamfer tool from the mini toolbar. Well, let's make this yeah, a little smaller, 0.25. So there we have it, and right now, it is only going along that one edge because, again, we don't have tangent edges. Let's go to the Pieces tab and select piece one. Now we have these different drag handles and we can drag it. I can say, hey, I also want it to go to that edge or maybe to this edge as well. Uh, let's extend it over here and over here. And so in this way, by using those different drag handles, I'm able to get the chamfer to extend to a bunch of non-tangent edges. You can see the little piece of geometry that it puts in between there. Later on, if I decide that I want to get those different portions back, all I have to do is select the chamfer feature and then edit definition. If I click on the pieces tab, here we have piece one and it says it's edited. I can click on edited to get a drop down list and change it to included. And that way I get the reference back and the same way for this particular chamfer. Select it, edit definition, go to the pieces tab, and instead of edited, change it to included, and now it's going to only include that one initial edge down there in the feature. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.